What's up guys, this is the Riverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to run off of the last time, we valiantly lost Athens, finally, from a combined stack of three full armies. And now we are being attacked by the Mamluks in Syria. So let's get ready to defend. Um, I'm hoping I've still got a breach, end up just um, defending that breach with massed gunfire, which should be the ticket. Um, if not, then it might be a bit more of a scrabble. Because they've got lots of... They've got more men to attack the walls and I've got men that can stop them. Yeah, sounds about right. Mortars go here. Well, actually, let's get everyone out first. That's not... There we go. Effectively, do this with one unit up on this wall, one unit up on this wall. You know, guys, a pikes just to sit here. Mortars to the rear. Let's do this thing. Let's speed up time because they have no artillery, so they have to just come straight in. Some Azars, Hillmen, got some Israelis, they got some some units, some bits and bobs. Let's talk explosive shell. Why not? Let's make sure they're not moving. Nope, they're not moving. So the Kurdish Hillmen should probably fall to my firelock armed citizenry. Oh more Kurdish Hillmen. Too bad they're not firing the cannons. Turn off, turn on. There we go. Now they've got the cannons going. Turn off, fire at will. Turn on, fire at will. Pour fire onto the Israelis. Good lads. Reload. Yeah, they're going to abandon that and still come through the gate. That's where my guys of pikes are going to come in. Throw them in. Good, they're broken. Come on, lads. You've got enough gumption, more gumption than that. Oh, it's definitely not fire into the middle. Oh, 
Oh, don't explode in the middle of my men. Aim at them. Speed this up. Fireball off, fireball on. Or not, I suppose. They can only be a mass route. Two of them. But this auto is falling back, because auto are rubbish. So my pikes are on a bit of an expedition. They might come back because they've still got good numbers. So they are all that remains. No, I'll keep doing keep doing special shot. Can't do nothing, can you? So we've got two units of cavalry, two generals' bodyguards, no less. And do you know of camel gunners that they've dismounted and ran over here? We'll just do round shot if that's any better. Oh, there we go. Oh, my final comm citizenry are out of ammunition, so let's run them out of the way. Otherwise, they will never move in. They'll just sit there and constantly shoot at them. Let's run them back up now. Oh, no. I was hoping they'd go in for the attack. They'd try to climb the walls. Yeah, we're on triple speed. And I'm not gonna. So, in other, other times, I may have moved forces out of the city to sweep away the remnants, but to be honest, now I just want to keep my city. So, I don't think I want to do that. So, they're gonna pour fire by rank into them. Good, that's them gone. And to be honest, I don't think either of the other units are going to attack. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to cut the battle here, then bring goes back when it's over. So, see you guys in a minute. Radio guys, after a long, painful wait, the battle will be over in just a few seconds, and it will be a victory for us, pushing against the forces of the Mamelukes. Which is nice. End battle. Heroic victory for our forces grew on the siege we have going on at their homeland. I know it's bad for my economy, but I'm not. I have no choice. So who's... So Cairo is my new capital. My new capital of Egypt. So the good old Athensites are going to keep rebelling. Okay, so let's try. Diplomacy. France. Peace. Oh. Okay, 
is the French are going to keep coming at me and they're going to send this army somewhere, probably up here. So let's replenish and then let's build some colonial infantry. Let's probably build a unit of... Cheapest artillery you can get. It's Sakers, isn't it? Yep. Oh no, you're three turns, you're not very useful to me. I think we may have to assault the city of Baghdad in order to. Uh, open. Oh, diplomacy, request peace, and it's peace and I. Because right, right now I'm the only one they're at war with. So they have all of their efforts. They can focus on just me. Well, let's dance, France. Let's dance. I think they're probably going to land. They're probably going to land. And they're probably going to go for Syria. And if they do go for Syria, it's probably going to be a win for them. If they can get there. Oh no. They're going for Jerusalem, by all means. Fair enough. Go for Jerusalem. But what I would very much like is if I could capture my capture Baghdad and then I'll bring that army back around to lay siege and retake Jerusalem uh, although I am mightily concerned about my economic situation considering I am taxing everyone to hell but maybe my tax well, I was about to say my tax situation might have improved somewhat um, because I've lost my garrison of Athens uh, but I very much doubt it The Ottomans are on the march. At least the Russians are keeping them occupied. Until the... Until the Russians inevitably turn and declare on me. Because <laughs> that will, that will probably happen. Come the Georgians, there come the Mamelukes again, they're going to destroy my ships. Yep. Oh good, that's exactly what I wanted to see happen, the Mamelukes are sallying out. Because I want to kill it, do some changes to their economic structure, then immediately hightail that army west to the French. I don't know how I'm going to deal with the French Navy, because I can't sustain a large Navy. I want to give them peace. Still. Slaughter the Mamelukes. Five. flank, deploy these chaps, make sure I deploy these chaps to all have these, then on the left, a lot of troops, cavalry on one side, pikes in the centre, jammer on the right in lieu of other cavalry, and then fire. Camel mercenaries. Yep, so these are guys that will want to They will want to run into you and do some damage. That's why I've got some 
Some marines. Not many marines, I grant. Only 120. 28. Bit of speed up time to allow them to get close to me. Good, the camels are pulling back. Oh, okay, hold on, play, 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 play. Cannons to shot the Delhi horsemen. Oh, don't worry, actually, they're all. Getting pounded. If they don't waver, there we go. They did manage to get a parting shot off. Even though they're just out of range for cannons to shot, they'll soon be in range, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's put my cavalry on the flank. Just keep shooting, even though they're just out of range, they still do get hits. Now, it looks like the camel's going to suck up the first, the first few volleys. Engineers are engaging the armed populace. Need to slightly move them back up. So, let's see how my volunteers do in picking off the Mameluke forces. Form square with the volunteers. Go on, lads, present your shots. Again, their carbines out. Here comes the general advance. These are armed populace. Again, my square should snag them before they hit this regiment of foot. And then let's deploy my cav my cavalry as their camels are currently tied up. It's always worth doing a little right click to keep them going, to keep them attacking so that they get um, shattered rather than just routing, so now they'll never come back. Let's 
Bashi bazooks. And camels. Oh, they're running into my guns, and that's okay. Get my general out here. The pikes have cleared out of them. Now the pikes get into the Bashi Bazooks. This is the thing, man. Pikes are badass. Move my cavalry back. Yeah, it's not surprising they killed my guns. Okay, let's take my infantry, line them up. Oh no, my good general's dead. He was a great general. Chase down those Lazarus swordsmen. Hit the Bashi Bazooks, get you guys in. Get these guys in on the Israelis. Charge into the Islamic Swordsmen, otherwise I'll never give you a break. Chase down those Islamic swordsmen. Engage in a bit of sword play. Okay, now you said chase down some Felain, and let's move up my line infantry to try to give them a decent decoy. Pikes are in, and they're going to tear the tear the arse out of these Israelis. General's bodyguard. I'm just run past them and go for the Felain. Get my artillery to fire a round shot at this building. Bring the remnants of my good general's bodyguard back. Okay, let's run my cavalry back. Looks like snared by a funny general's bodyguard unit. They're still chasing after me. No. Oh, there's the general. Well, let's try not the building down. It might kill him. Dead. 
the Israelis are broken. Come on, attack him. Or don't. <laughs> Although he did completely and utterly backhand one as soon as he arrived. Okay, you men, present. Oh no, reloading. Nice one, square. Surround and engulf the Islamic swordsmen. End battle. Yeesh. That was a bit more cutthroat. And the biggest loss was the loss of... Lost a lot of men though, which is exactly what we want to see. Policies. Let's see if I can knock it down a bit. Okay, good. I'm back to growing, I think. I can't build walls. I'm not going to build walls. I'm going to build three units of lines. We'll get a sizable garrison in Cairo, but I don't know if they'd be any good. So I think the name of the game is to replenish my Syria garrison if they want to try it. Oh, I say oh. Let's finish off Baghdad. Finish off Baghdad and see if we can get a decent, a decent settlement with Persia to keep our borders open and free. have a, a quote-unquote grand battery. So block of infantry on the right and the left. Block of infantry on the right which I'll deploy out when the time comes. Deploy my army. Oh wow. Let's just artillery the heck out of them. But yeah, my only chance I think is to capture is to capture Baghdad, get a positive settlement with the Greeks, and then bring this army back around to re-engage the French that have landed on our shores. In some ways, the loss of our Settlements has made it easier because we've got fewer areas to worry about. And I'm more than happy just to let them fall against our city, our line, like water against rock. You men engage the Bashi Bazooks. Ah, oh, 
Damn it, guards. Send in the pikes. When in doubt, send in the pikes. Oh no, don't need to. Don't worry. <laughs> Round shot, the last unit of armed populace. Uh, speed up time a little bit. This is what the treacherous dogs get for turning on us. And then this armed populace is going to get shot to bits before it even gets to our lines. Yeah, sounds about right. Aha! They were hiding back here. Let's see how well these Azars feel. Fear. Fear. They seem to be doing it. They've been pretty lucky dodging the art. Oh, well, I say that. Especially <laughs> they've done pretty well dodging the artillery. End battle. Heroic victory. So, Baghdad is secure. Diplomacy. Persia. Very friendly with Persia. Okay, what about... Oh, I can't give you any tech and you've got sh shed loads more of it than I do. Nope. I don't want to give you military access. So, do you have university? Yes. Let's knock that down. Two Turkish baths? I don't think so. One of you is going to be a religious place to start turning... Start turning this uh, part of the world into good Protestant country. And I can't repair anything, so I may as well just spend what little I have money on replenishment. And let's hit end turn and see what happens. Let's hope the United States goes to war with the French. That's what I hope. Because I want to hope the French want Maria. But I don't think they will. Good, they're going back to Jerusalem. I'm hoping that in the Middle East they do what the AI normally does. Is they take a place, they hunker down, and they just feel happy having just that. They just go, okay, we've got what we wanted. Sort of like what um, Austria did to us and Sarajevo. Once they took Sarajevo, they were fine. They'll probably ask us for peace, but I won't give it to them because I will want that land. So this turn I need to do, I need to rebuild Iraq, and then I would then like to build up my port in Cairo to the next level to get more access to more trade. Could he by Jove? Oh wow, I am making zero dollars. Near enough. As annoying as it is, I might have to ask for peace with the French. Because right now they're throttling us, and I don't want to give them Jerusalem. But if we, ha if if that's what we got to do, because right now I have no money, like zero dollars, and I won't get it if I kick them out of Jerusalem. Yeah, church school doesn't make people. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask for peace for the French. I'm gonna have to. No choice. Guess peace. I may as well try ally with them. No, okay, what well, but just peace? 
Because peace and well, I can't offer you any tech because you've got loads of tech. Guys, I think I think the campaign is going to be dead because I can't win against this. France has just got me completely smothered. I'm making no money. Uh, the only place I can make money is Baghdad, and they will rebel soon. I can't fix. How much is it, how much is it going to cost to repair that? Two thousand four hundred. I'm not going to be able to repair it. I'm making no money. I'm still trading with the Persians. See, it's a sea trade route. Well, I suppose I've got no land route now. Yeah, to be uh, yeah, to be honest, guys, I think I'm going to call the Greece. I'm going to call time on this Greece campaign because I'm making no money. I can't fix Baghdad, and I am just completely throttled. So. First time I've had to do this actually to stop a campaign early because, oh uh, yeah, this this is I'm just been at war with all of the major powers for almost the entire game. That's that. So if I had any recommendations or suggestions to play as Greece, I would effectively say uh, don't because it's really hard. <laughs> It's really hard, and there's not a lot you can do about it. Things are just going to happen. Yeah, I don't want to call time on it. Like The only thing I can do is build a church school to try and make the religious unrest go down. But I don't think that'll work. Well, yeah, I'm about to make no money, so I have to increase my policy to stay slightly positive. So then we hit, then we hit, uh, yeah, the only thing I can do is try build that trade, try build that uh, religious school. Hey, they've left me alone. Hmm. That's an interesting movement. But they are still just at war with me, so I don't quite know what they can do about it. I, I'm sure, so I've only played as these guys and as Greece, but it just feels like, not as Greece, and this, as Greece and as Mexico, and it just feels like the AI is so much more aggressive to the, the human player than it normally is. Because, um, yeah, right now I don't see any... Yeah, normally, normally the AI doesn't randomly just go for you, and the countries across the world just randomly go for you, like Gran Colombia, Mexico. But maybe because it left me alone, I'm like, yeah, officially bankrupt, officially bankrupt, no money. If I cancel building that. Yeah, no, no money. Uh, can't stop the French. Baghdad is still going to be very angry with me, and they're going to rebel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't want to do it, but I think I'm going to have to call time on it. So, uh, apologies, guys, for having to call time on it. But right now, it's just, oh, it's. I don't see a way out of this mess. Uh, without effect, well, a way out of this mess and, and making progress. Like right now, Baghdad will rebel, and they'll kill, and I'll kill them, and I'll be in the same position in about four or five parts than I am now. Like it, it's it's a real grind, and yeah, I think I'm going to call it because I'm not having. <laughs> it's not super fun for me to play either, just to constantly be fighting fires across everywhere. Um, there's nothing I can do unless. Peace. Yeah, they just bizarrely they are just angry at me. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there, guys. It's been fun while it's lasted, but it's just too it's just too much. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed my Greece let's play. Um, I'm sorry, it's not gone as long as it should. Uh, and then I'll hold a uh, a new campaign vote 
probably at the same time as this video goes out. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you for my next campaign. Alright, cheers guys. Hey guys, so in my... Uh, just a second ago actually, you would have seen me go on a bit of a rant about why I was not going to carry on with my uh, Greece campaign. And I came back to it today for this session to kind of go, you know what, I'll try and do things a bit. I'll, cr I'll crack on. I'll see what happens uh, if I just keep playing. Um, and the result is I lose. I've lost Jerusalem. Uh, I lose Syria. Because they just send all their, their army over there to capture Syria. They then send these chaps around to start raiding around Cairo. Around down this valley. Uh, I still don't have enough money to rebuild Baghdad. And even though they do like me, they're still very, very grumpy. And this uh, rebel force ends up just raiding through all of my ports. And then to top it all off, uh, Persia declares war on me as well. So, I don't know what's coming, but I suppose it would be, well there will be, a stack of Persians heading towards Baghdad. Um, weirdly, so the only way I might be able to get out of this is if I pick Persia. Okay, it's peace. I'll just give them Baghdad. And they won't even accept that, so... This is the thing, is what I've, what I've found with lots of countries in this game, is that even though I will give them very advantageous things, they are still seemingly coded to not like it. So if I just give them Mesopotamia, let's see if they do it. I can't even give away a region they've declared on... they've declared at war they declared, declared war on me for. At the very least, that would then, if I gave it away, allow me to teleport this army to Cairo and I could try and retake Egypt again. But, yeah. Yeah, like this army is, is effectively trapped unless I just abandon uh, Baghdad immediately. But then, Baghdad ends me more money in Syria and you know, am I just going to transpose the problem back to Damascus and I'm still going to have guys coming from the east and it, yeah, it's getting to the point where I think, so previously when I did my little rant uh, I had decided that no, you know what, you know what, I'm done and then now I've kind of gone okay now I've cooled off a little bit uh, I've tried to give it another go to see where it goes and it just gets worse so I think it's kind of reinforced it in my mind to just knock it on the head um, like I thought maybe it's just the, mo the frame of mind I was in at the time because it had all gone so horribly wrong so quickly um, but I had another crack at it played on a few more turns lost my regions my only hope was that Persia would stay chill but they haven't so I don't yeah there's nothing I can do so um, I will be uh, holding another faction vote um, I'm sorry guys, because I know you guys really enjoy this campaign, but, you know, it's just not... It's just... It's, just, it's, uh, it's like a... It's like a dog crawling along on its front legs, its back legs are broken, and it, it's infected, and you just think, you could watch the little bugger scoot along and see if he makes it, but you know he won't make it. So I think I'm going to have to uh, officially put a put a close on this campaign for now. There's nothing to say I won't uh, have another crack at playing as Greece. I might lower the difficulty down somewhat for Greece. I mean, I know I always play on hard, hard, but I might, just to get the campaign going, I might knock it down to normal because this has been uh, exceptionally hard, even for... Uh, <laughs> even for hard, hard. I mean, normally hard, hard campaigns are pretty, pretty good, but, you know... Uh, the funny thing is, uh, the Persians declared war on me, and they caught, they were going to call in their allies, the, the the Ottomans and the Marathas, and they've not. The Ottomans haven't joined them. I suspect they would, but I, I based on what the AI is doing, with uh, everyone just being aggro on me, that the Ottomans and the Russians would declare on me eventually. Um, but yes, yeah, so I will be holding a faction vote, and the faction vote will be the same list as presented previously. So it will be the um, the Italian states, uh, Denmark, or the Knights of St. John. They've all been...
picked. And I think I might throw in the 13 colonies, just because why not? <clears throat> the 13 colonies victory conditions are some quite strange ones. It's not just re it's, just, it's not just conquer America, it's like talks about invading invading Italy and let's say capturing Lombardy and it's got some it's some real curveballs in there. Um, but yes, yeah, so sorry about to kind of kill this campaign guys, but it's just it's floundering and I've, I've, I think I've I've been clinging on with my fingernails for too long now <laughs> and I think I'm just going to call call time so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and at least all this bit's ended in a bit more of a positive manner than my little grumpy rant um, but yeah thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the faction vote which will be released at the same time this video goes out so cheers guys see ya